We've got Joel Maritzi, he's from the Seaton Ramblers Football Club in Division 3. Welcome Joel. Thanks Maisie. Uh, you're our uh, featured guest of the week, our club legend. Uh, tell us a little bit about your footy career, your playing career and every, everything we, uh, you're helping Seaton now. Yeah, I've been at the club now for uh, 22 years. I've been there since uh, since uh, an under nine. So uh, yeah, just going through the juniors, and we had some. You know, we started well my days in the, as the juniors, lots of numbers. Um, then kind of under 15, 17, it's got a bit you know a bit tough with numbers. So uh, instead of moving clubs, I decided to play up a level. Even though my uh, probably my footy wasn't the wasn't the greatest, but uh, I think I was an under you know a second year under 15, playing under 17s, and then. Under 17s, we didn't get a side in the second year, so I moved up to seniors and uh, been a. Uh, ever since then, I've played you know C grade, mostly C grade and some B grade along the way. Last couple of years, and uh, just uh, last year against Wargaville, played my 250th and uh, was uh, a belter of the day. Luckily, got the win and kicked a couple of couple of goals. So uh, yeah, still playing uh, C's and B's at the moment and uh, enjoying it. Oh, as long as you're still enjoying it, that's the main thing. That's it. And you're helping out off the field, you know, you've done a bit of football directing, you've done a bit of this, bit of that. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so probably since, uh, it's been probably about eight or nine years now, I've been helping out on the, on the footy side, joining the committee, um, run the bar, uh, bar manager the last three, four years, and, uh, you know, just helping out whenever needed, whether it be $50 draws or whether it be, uh, you know, uh, just every everyday stuff on a sad day and, and all those kinds of things with functions. So uh, yeah, as I said, the more people involved, the easier it is, and um, always always wanting people to get on board and uh, to help out the club. Oh, people uh, and you know, footy clubs, you know, they uh, they function because of people like yourself and and Jono and Big Al and Daryl Wellman. We're talking about you know you know, you know Seaton. Uh, you know, they rely on all you blokes to do so so much work. So uh, that's it. Yeah, so. Uh, obviously, sponsors, they play a huge part in any footy club, uh, they're the lifeblood. Um, you like to give them a bit of a plug? Yeah, I'd just like to, to plug our two major sponsors. So, uh, Ray White, Sir Flinders Park, Big Al. Big Al. Still got the big sign there out on the boulevard. We out on his pups. own car park there, he's got his own car uh, park. Yeah, you know, we should probably rename it. It should be Peddler Reserve, it should be Big House Car Park. But, yeah. uh, well, everyone calls it that. So. <laughs> Always in your write-ups, Big House Car Park, you love it, Hosey. And uh, this year we also like to thank uh, the Watermark Hotel for jumping on board as one of our major sponsors. We've also got uh, some players that are sponsoring the club. Uh, MH Electrical, Mark Heffern, uh, their yeah. L LTR Electrical, so Luke Rochester, uh, Katsek uh, with Joey Mascara, and then also we've got uh, the other sponsors, uh, Hunter Management have jumped on board, we've got the uh, Royal Park Recycling, um, uh, um, and there's a few others, I just can't think of them at the moment, so we do yeah. like to thank uh, all those sponsors, and as I said, we're just looking for many more uh, to get on board. Great, thank you very much for being our club legend of the week. Thank you.